Hello, and today I am playing Vampire on the PS4. And uh, my weapons are Clay's Hatchet, a Bludgeon, a Stake, and a Pistol Parabellum. My um, powers are Autophagy, the healing ability, which you should have, Claws, Coagulation, Blood Barrier, and Blood Cauldron. Right, this game has been pretty much slammed recently in reviews, given like mediocre reviews, some a couple of good ones, mainly bad, simply because of a few flaws it has. But I've been really enjoying this game. Here is Skull. Oh, and Pruin. Pruin's to kill. These are vampire hunters. Kill! Claws. Now, excuse me whilst I use Blood Cauldron. This is one of my, this is one of my two ultimate moves I have right now. The other one is Rage, which I won't be using in this video because I greatly prefer this one. If you stake it, the stake I have does bare minimal damage, but it does stamina damage, which means I can knock them down and feed on them, which draws blood, which allows me to use my powers. Blood barrier, to block that. Coagulation. And finally, autophagy, which is healing. Uh, that thing they're fighting, I, I believe, is the game's equivalent of werewolves. Switch to my pistol parabellum, which has next only has six bullets. Fuck me. Yeah, and you're next. Oh god, no, not one of those. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Blood barrier and claws. I think the bludgeon swings faster. No, it does not. It does. It it, it does reasonable damage though. Also for G, coagulation and claws. So you play as a as play as a. Um, Doctor called Jonathan Reed in 1912. He's been recently transformed into a vampire. Oh god, fuck no, no, turn around, turn around. Do not look at them. And um, you have a choice to fully give in to your urges or continue your Hippocratic Oath. And dead. And autophagy. I do a mixture of both. I go for the, I've gone for what I like to call the anti-hero approach. I kill and feed on those I deem deserving in like you, how you feed. When I bit them then, that wasn't me feeding. That was just me biting for combat. Um, you can mesmerize people and feed on them if you deem them deserving of death. Just hunting for a necklace for someone. Both Digby. Ugh. Don't like that guy. He's an asshole. Try talking. No, nothing about the necklace. Hold on, could I mesmerise either of them? I'll show off. No. Nah, both of them 
are too high leveled to be mesmerized. Ah, I can't be asked to do a search in one. I thought I'd be like, um... There we, Rufus. I'm hoping I bump into some scars to show off their combat. Yep, there's a scar. A scar is a lesser vampire, like a, just a bestial vampire. This one's a blinker, meaning it can um, teleport, shortwave, like I can. More skulls. This one can blow up. Let's watch it. Nom 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 nom. Dead. Fuck you. Oh, you assholes. I only got two bullets out of that. Okay. A fucking garlic cloud. I'm pretty sure that's garlic or mustard gas, but I don't know why mustard gas would hurt a vampire. Since I don't. I do, do I breathe? Oh, I'm going the long way around. Fuck! Still locked on. No. You explode. Ow. Blood barrier. Come on, shoot me. Alright, that, that'll work. Combat is fairly simple, as you can tell. Regulation. Back, back. So yeah, Vampire. It's it's not the perfect game. It freezes up every so often, but it's still a quite a good game in my opinion. Not deserving of just the slating it's received. Oh, excuse me. So, um, yeah, that's all I really got to say about this game. Vampire. If you like a good, dark, gothic vampire game, at least rent this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next vid. Where's my hat out?